1949, a Swiss zoologist, Dr. Rudolf Geige, arrived in Ifakara in search of a fieldwork location for his research on tropical diseases. Burdened with a wide range of diseases, Ifakara, which is translated as a place to go die, was the ideal place for Geige to set up the Swiss Tropical Institute Field Laboratory. The Ifakara Health Institute, IHI, the renowned for its groundbreaking work in malaria, its reach extends far beyond this formidable foe. So we have developed a target product profile that at least uh, give a directions to the scientific communities on what th things should be considered by the scientific community when they are developing novel tools. So through this, we are able to kind of like publish a lot of uh, articles out there, which generate a lot of information. IHI works tirelessly with several partners to bring vital health services directly to those in need. From the dedicated doctors at the heart and lungs unit to the tireless work of the HIV clinic, rabies team, TB doctors, and many more. Um, what we do is to um, improve people's health by service first, improve um, health also by training and capacity building of young clinicians um, and also lab people and also of course to have clinical research to better understand what is the specific needs of patients in this area because of course not every patient um, has the same challenges all over the world while we treat the same disease which um, I think um, we, we have been able to develop a community surveillance system. Uh, uh, at the end of the day, uh, you need to understand that uh, biting dog most of the time they bite the, uh, poor, uh, poor communities living in rural communities. And, uh, and they need to seek treatment um, at a district headquarters. It involves a lot of traveling, a lot of transport cost. For, for most of the uh, communities, especially in rural settings, this is an additional burden to, the, um, to their welfare. All the work that IHI does hinges on having a highly qualified and skilled task force. IHI, in collaboration with its many sponsors and supporters, has managed to breed the necessary skilled force trained at some of the most highly reputable institutes around the world. IHI provided such a wonderful environment for me to work, but also to do my research. In the past 50 years, IHI has achieved a lot. The impact it has had on its family of scientists, communities surrounding the centers, Tanzania as a nation, and the world at large is something to be commended by all. <laughs> IHI has had many helping hands to reach these amazing achievements. The help may have come in the form of funds, technical support, or advice. Either way, the beneficiaries are extremely thankful. And as much as IHI has achieved these milestones, more work still needs to be done, not only in the major areas of focus, but in new areas as well. You can't deliver quality of care if you don't have good infrastructure. You can't deliver quality of care if you don't have equipment and the medical supplies. And then you can't deliver quality of care if you don't have human uh, resources. Yes, the world is one village. Solving a health challenge in one country could be solving problems in many other countries. And that is the most important reason why investments should be made in such a noble cause as the work done at IHI. First of all, capacity building is very important. And the capacity building is not just to enable the scientist or research to be able to conduct the research, but as well as to empower them to do it in a world-class manner. So whatever uh, the local community can do to make uh, the work of the of IHI more efficient, uh, less cumbersome, I think that is as 
good as any donation that we can get from outside Tanzania.